Gilbert Burns. Guys, we've been screwing people over for years. I mean, that's what we do, right? We watch these guys. We see these great performances, and then we hold them back for some reason. They're not exciting enough. They haven't shown us enough. They still need to prove more. How else do you explain Damian Maia having to win seven fights in a row before he got a title shot? How else do you explain Gilbert Burns beating all the people he's beaten up and only getting one title shot? How do you explain Neil Magny? What was he on a seven-fight streak as well? Matt Brown, another seven-fight streak? So we like to screw guys. We like to hold them back. We like to say they need to do more. But if we were to do that, and I know it's what we want to do, I know our evil side comes through, and if we can screw a guy, we will. If we're going to do that with Gilbert Burns right now, how are we going to do it? How are we going to do it? We're not going to give him the title shot, right? We're going we're gonna to come halfway. We're going to come right up to the line. We're going to go on the internet. We're going to go on the underground forum. We're going to go on our social media. We're going to say how great he looked. We might even call for an of-the-night bonus, but we're not going to demand that he gets a title shot. So, since we're going to screw him, how are we going to do it? We need two things. If we're not going to give Burns the title shot, we need somebody for the title shot. And we need somebody for Burns to fight. Now, Burns has come out as recently as 10 seconds ago and said he wants to fight Colby Covington. Our understanding is that Colby and Chemayev are reserved for each other. But then we've got some other news that Chemayev is going to go up to 185 pounds, which happens to be an idea that I support. We got very clear news that Kamara... Usman is okay, that all the rumors we heard are false, and that in March he's going to be fighting Leon. That leaves us with, well, Gilbert Burns, and that leaves us, of course, with Laha Muhammad. Now, I've heard a lot worse ideas, and that very likely is the direction we're going to go. But somebody needs to speak up. Somebody head this charge. I, I know that collectively... We want to stiff Gilbert, but even if we stiff him, we got to give him something to do. And by the way, Gilbert's fight with Neil Magny was, was interesting from one perspective, right? Since 1993, all we've really been trying to do is to answer one question, which is, what is the most effective martial art? Is it striking? Is it grappling? We thought we had that handled. Well, once you get to the ground, what's the best things to do? Let me give you an example. A lot of people have said... If you're in the guard, always pass the guard. Frank Shamrock, who became a world champion, who was a perennial voice in this, said don't pass guard. Get in guard and then pound. Very, it's very difficult for any of us to disagree with Frank Shamrock. Now, there are ways that you can do it, such as two more decades of data to look to. So tonight you saw Gilbert trying to pass. And it was as good a passing as I've ever seen. He was faking out his opponent. He was looking like everything was going left to come to the right. He'd come to the right, go to the left, he'd go to the left to come back to the right. And then when he gets to a mount, generally that's where you would want to pound. He locked in an arm triangle. Then when he went to pass the arm triangle, he only car cleared halfway. Left one leg in the middle, straightened it out to push his opponent away so he didn't run into the fence. It was a very technical position. He deserves a lot of credit. He deserves an of-the-night bonus. I think we're going to get him an of-the-night bonus, but I know we're going to stiff him on what he really wants which is the world title fight and or a mega fight with Colby Covington. So if we're going to screw him and we need to do it collectively, we got to know two things. Who is, in fact, going to fight for the championship? And who should we have Gilbert fight in the meanwhile?